A second case of imported African swine fever to Hong Kong in a month will hit fresh supplies and consumers will have to fork out more for pork. Now, on Friday, the government discovered another infected pig at a local abattoir and called for the culling of over 4,000 pigs on the premises. The slaughterhouse will also be shut down for four days for disinfection. Roland Lim explains further. Business was brisk when Hong Kong resumed the sale of fresh pork last month. Butchers across the territory, however, had to raise prices by as much as 80% in response to the cost of wholesale pigs doubling. Those prices are now expected to stay. And it's not only consumers feeling the pinch. Local traders say small stall owners are closing shop and they're calling for authorities to improve the quarantine inspection process to avoid widespread culling in the future. Many are also calling for the suspension of supplies from previously affected mainland farms into the territory. Hong Kong gets almost all of its fresh supply of pork from the mainland. In any given day, around 4,000 hogs are brought in, with another 250 pigs locally slaughtered. Supplies are currently running at around 60% what it once was. And traders say it may take up to half a year before things get back to normal. Now, in the past 20 years, Hong Kong has had lots of experience dealing with pandemics. It's had to cull millions of chicken. However, with the latest swine flu outbreak here, it seems that it has highlighted certain weaknesses in Hong Kong protecting its food chain supply. The city destroyed more than 6,000 pigs and closed two of its abattoirs on May the 10th. It took more than a week for officials to confirm the virus had been imported and by then an unknown number of pigs from the same batch had been sold. Professor Pfeiffer, a veterinary virologist, warns that the scale of the outbreak on the mainland is unprecedented and it may be a matter of time before the virus spreads across the border. We need to make every effort we can to keep the local pig population free because that's an asset that we have. And that's where I think we should try to make some changes. And I've suggested in the past that one measure could be to slaughter the local pigs in another slaughterhouse. At the moment, they're all going to the same slaughterhouse. Hong Kong isn't taking any chances banning local pig farms from feeding swill to their stock. Swill from animal origin has been linked to the transmission of the virus. Other measures include culling of all infected pigs at the local farm. And other farms within a three kilometer radius of the affected farm will also have to suspend their supply until tests prove negative. Consignments from the mainland continue to be carefully inspected by vets at the border and quarantined before they enter the city. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.